Sol is my first child. Uh, he was born in 2015 and he's the light of my life. It was a, a normal healthy pregnancy, but we think that during uh, the forceps delivery, that the forceps crushed the artery in his left arm. Sadly, uh, by the time he was taken to a specialist unit in Alderhey, um, it was too late, so he had to lose the arm. Uh, my name's Ben, I'm the CEO and founder of Ambionics, and I invented body-powered hydraulics. Uh, so I started on my phone from, from the hospital researching amputation, amputees, prosthetics and I noticed immediately there was a pattern of rejection in children who didn't receive a prosthetic or a functioning prosthetic early enough and that just inspired me um, and I just remember thinking that's not going to be my soul. I started to play around with the idea of prosthetics of basic ones when Sol was five weeks of age and that's just unheard of. But to Sol it's perfectly normal and, and I know there's not much technology there but it hadn't been done and I think that was the turning point. Just, just um, allowing him to hit, hit the toys in his, in his crib. And it was actually one night, I think it was two in the morning and I was thinking through that I saw a spider on the roof and I remember seeing that spiders use hydraulic pressure to actuate their legs. A fluid solution jumped to mind. It was like a eureka moment. I printed uh, these, which are PVA soluble casts. If you can see the fluid that I'm gonna fill, which would be polyurethane. So print them in that position. And then there's a cavity inside, which is filled with liquid polyurethane, which is very cheap and incredibly strong. And eight hours later, after you've chucked it in water, it can produce this. Um, the idea being that it'll go under the arm as Sol squishes it. It'll extend or retract the bellow with a spring on the end of it and just open and close the thumb, which is incredibly simple. But to get to this point where I can make them has been an epic journey. <laughs> and in January, I, I met up with Paul Sowey, who is a, um, an Autodesk product designer, and he showed me how he designs prosthetic sockets. I can now create sockets that fit perfectly. So from receiving a scan now from a child anywhere in the world, I can model a socket in about 20 minutes to 40 minutes, depending on because uh, every child's different and every shape is different, but uh, I'm getting faster and getting better. I want to keep affordable arms available to families who uh, perhaps around the world don't have access to a prosthetist. And I didn't realize how. In South America, it's 13 years um, and there's just nothing available. And so I would like to be able to set up uh, ambionics in, in every continent. When, when I see Sol using his just his passive, non-functional arm, and I see him using it intuitively, I just lean down and scratch his leg with it. So I, I thought, even if this all stops now, I think I've managed to bridge that gap. Uh, I, I wanted to show the world is that this wasn't just something that I was working on with my son, that I could quite easily help other children. It felt that we hadn't quite hit the right note, but we obviously did with RS, and uh, I'm eternally grateful for the support we've had. Bought a couple of 3D printers. Um, didn't think filament would be as expensive as it was, particularly some of this, you know, the PVA, for example. It's uh, specialist stuff. The other rest of the history, I, was, I received 15 kilograms of filament, which is enough to do the entire beta trial and most of my prototyping. Um, but to just have somebody look at it, so that's, you know, that, that needs a pat on the back, that needs some, acknowledgement that was really really motivating for me.